This video about DaVinci for Tablet is an extension of the DaVinci Desktop video, which is linked below. The sketch we'll draw here is the same one from the DaVinci for Desktop video, but makes use of the stylus or digital ink. Since most tablet PCs have keyboards, DaVinci for Tablet can be used as if it were DaVinci Desktop, with all the mouse and keyboard functions. However, DaVinci for Tablet is built not only to take advantage of drawing with digital ink, but also completely replaces an appraiser's clipboard by allowing you to take field notes, which then transfer into the forms without retyping. Let's start a report. Notice that for any text field, when I hover my stylus over a field, I'm given the option to write into a blank and have Windows convert the handwritten text into typed text. Choose the form you want and click Create. Start by filling out the order information. If you have transferred an existing file from Total, this data will already be there. In the Sketch Power View, notice you have the same functionality as DaVinci for Desktop, including the three modes of Draw, Modify, and Pan. To draw a line, simply go to Draw Mode, then draw your line with the stylus. If you want to modify the length of a line, simply write the correct length on top of the existing one. Notice that you can draw multiple lines at once in a general layout, then modify each of them one at a time to make them more accurate. When you run into a tight spot, where lengths and angles are close together, draw a callout line from the dimension you want to change out into some free space, and write the new length next to the line. For bay windows, draw a rough 45 degree line, then modify the rise and run accordingly by writing the correct measurements on top of the rise and run. In this case, I have a rise of 3 and a run of 4. Notice that you have pop points here as well. Just tap them to take your line to a pop point. To move around on the screen, tap pan mode and then tap and drag on the screen. For an angled wall where you've measured the length of the wall and the angle of incidence, draw an angled wall, change the length of the line, then use a callout for the angle. Just like in DaVinci for Desktop, when you close your area, you're prompted to define it. Tap on your selection and then tap OK. To draw the garage, I'll draw it just like we did in the desktop video. Three lines and then define. Remember that on the porch we did a curve. Draw a curve and then modify the arc height, length, or even the angle of incidence. Here I'll square off the porch. I'll name it a wood deck. To rename this area as a concrete patio, I'll write the first few letters of the correct name on top of the old one. Remember, to make a copy of the first floor into the second, you select the area in Modify Mode, then right-click and copy and paste. With a stylus, you simulate a right-click by tapping and holding on the screen, then choose your option to copy. Go to some open space, tap and hold again, and choose Paste. To move an area, tap the area in Modify Mode, then tap and drag to where you want it. 
To zoom in and out, tap the plus and minus buttons at the top. I can now tap on any lines to remove them. I'll go back to draw mode to draw in the final wall of the second floor. Again, I'll write SEC on top of the area name to change this to the second floor. Just like in DaVinci for Desktop, interior walls are drawn just like exterior walls, but without showing dimensions. From the Draw button, select Interior Walls, then draw your interior walls. Notice that you can modify the length of an interior wall by writing your new dimension on top of the old one. You can use labels from the menu above or from the sidebar, but you can use the digital ink as well. Just write the first three letters of the label. Since DaVinci for Tablet is used for field notes as well as for field sketching, you can double tap on a bedroom or bathroom label to open the room analysis window so you can take your notes while you're inside the house drawing the interior. Note that you can even add a photo if you want. Symbols can be accessed from the top menu or the sidebar if you have it open. Simply select an item and tap to place it. Once it's been placed, rotate a symbol by tapping, holding, and dragging the green dot. For your field data, go to the Data Power View. Use the tabs at the top to navigate and make frequent use of either the built-in quick lists or use your own that you've synced from WinTotal. If your tablet has a camera, or if you take the card out of your camera and put it into the card reader on your tablet, you can assign subject and comp photos. You can also take comp data, which will of course transfer into the grid of the report. At any time, you can also view your field data as it would appear in the form by clicking the Form button at the top. Use the field pad like a blank piece of paper to make hand-drawn sketches or notes.